Hey guys, my name is Layla Sophia. I am an artist and fine jewelry designer. If you like contemporary fine jewelry, if you like luxury handbags, all things interiors, and I have some fun videos for you. Happy day after the Met. The Met Gala 2023 just happened last night. I am so, 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 so excited to do my first little review roundup, but this is gonna be primarily highlighting the amazing jewelry and accessories that we saw at the Met Ball. If you guys are new here, thank you so, so much for tuning in. I can't wait to see you in all of my future videos. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram at Layla Sophia Jewelry. I put out videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, and so I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Okay, so I'm gonna go over my favorite, favorite, favorite looks, maybe some highlights of some of the jewelry pieces that were worn, and some of the shoes, accessories, maybe a bag or two. This night was everything. It was celebrating Karl Lagerfeld. We were seeing Chanel vintage references, more modern references, Karl references, and his cat Chopette references. First, my one, oh, maybe my favorite to be really honest, Michaela Cole in Scaparelli moment of silence. The, first of all, Michaela Cole, just on a personal level, is one of my favorite people, her show, even from Chewing Gum, all the way to I May Destroy You. She's a brilliant writer. She's a brilliant actor. I am such a huge fan of hers. They knocked this out of the park. It felt so her. It felt so relaxed. Scaparelli did two of the most amazing looks, in my opinion, of the night. And I just think the references, everything, her body, the wear, the little kind of additional adornments were placed were so gorgeous. The Scaparelli shoes with the little gold toe details. Oh my God, Michaela Cole radiant. Let's go on to the next Scaparelli look, shall we? None other than Kim Kardashian, okay? If you guys already know, you already know. So she referenced her Playboy shoot, which I thought was brilliant. Kim Kardashian is, I, I know, I know there's a lot of haters. I'm on the lover side. I am a huge fan of hers. I followed her from the beginning. I grew up with her, you know? And something about kind of like reinventing, taking back your power, the pearl look I thought was gorgeous. She really has done some of the most remarkable looks <laughs> over the last decade, and I'm a huge fan. So we're all natural pearls, which is quite impressive. This look was breathtaking in my opinion, and I think everything from head to toe was nearly perfect. I love wearing shawls and kimonos and jackets this way. I love it when a jacket or a beautiful, beautiful kind of train, beautiful moment like this was kind of just draped over her elbows. She let the pearls shine. That neck collar piece and her, her diamond ring. I thought this look knocked it out of the park. Iconic. On to another, of course, pearls, camellias. We knew what was already going to happen at this Met. Ava Max, I thought, did an incredible job from the top kind of headpiece encrusted in pearls. I was like, okay, <laughs> this is gorgeous. I think she had one of the most memorable looks. And to a look that I thought was beautiful personally, Billie Eilish. You know, she is so beautiful. Those like icy eyes. I think that black hair and a black dress on her just look gorgeous. I loved the clips in her hair, the bow in her hair, the braid. It's very rare these days that we see her without a bang. I, in Simone Rocha, I've talked about her uh, several times here, and I'm just such a huge fan. Billy is one of those who I've, I, behind the scenes, have been saying, like, she would be such a cool Simone Rocha girl. I hope that this blossoms into a beautiful relationship. On to one of the most, I think, so far, in, like, the 12 hours, that celebrated looks, Doja. We already knew, okay. 
Surprisingly, this is her first Met. I was a Doja fan when she was just a producer on SoundCloud, okay? I, it's quite incredible. Can we talk about the headpiece? Can we talk about the headpiece? Are we dying? Like, first of all, the whole look, I thought it was beautiful. Obviously, the reference to show pet. The hand glove diamond piece, it, you guys. Okay, enough said. Doja killed it. Her jewelry was designed by Valerie Masika, Masika Jewels, and I <laughs> bow down, bow down. Another subtle, but in my opinion, one of the most envious pieces of jewelry, Emily Ratajkowski. Okay, guys, Anna Corey. I've already talked about her a couple times. I. <laughs> These ear cups? Are we are we seeing that? Are we seeing this? Anna Corey does ear cuffs so beautifully, among other things. The choker that she did on Irina Shake, I just <laughs> But for some reason, ever since I was talking about Mary Kate Olsen wearing her ear cuffs and me being just like so 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 in love. And Emily Ratajkowski's ear cuff, whoo! the envy that I have. A quick shout out icon herself, Kate Moss. It was a simple look, I know, I know, I know. I'm just a huge fan of slip dresses. I thought this Fendi by Kim Jones was gorgeous, but that choker, I assume a vintage diamond choker, guys, it was, it was so beautiful. And on to one of, I think, the most memorable men's looks, Bad Bunny in Jacques Mousse. I loved this. Again, the camellia was one of the center stage focuses of the evening, and I loved this, like, beautiful draping moment on him. The notable piece that I caught my eye for my wedding, if I ever get married, I've always said that I want to do a backwards necklace, like a beautiful draping piece down my back that it would just be so, it's it's so like vintage, looky iconic. He did this with a J, of course, Jacques Mousse. I loved this. Another men's look. If you, oh my God. First of all, one of the most incredible actors, Brian Tyree Henry. This entire look, I think should go down as one of the best men's looks, in my opinion. The whole outfit, the multiple kind of layers, the draping of that beautiful kind of cape jacket thing. It was so gorgeous with like the lace cutouts and the pearl necklaces. I'm a sucker for like dark gray moody pearls. He wore them so, so well. Gigi Hadid. We already know I'm a sucker for the Hadids. You know, it's just, it's, I'm so, I, I love them both so, so much. Can we talk about the lace gloves with the diamond rings? Such a beautiful nod to Carl and how it, like this beautiful reimagining of her own version of his gloves and his jewelry. I thought it was gorgeous. This look I thought was beautiful. I know a lot of people will think like, okay, the jewels on it, oh my God, they were just so well placed. And I think that diamonds and lace, like could you really think of a better, more iconic duo? Anne Hathaway, the queen herself. Okay, I think she's going down it already in a lot of people's kind of rankings as the top. Versace for the Carl Lagerfeld met, like, brilliant. The way that this dress just beautifully fit her. She's one of those people that, you know, she doesn't need to look like so sucked in for things to just fit her so perfectly. The safety pin moments on it. She just always looks like such a goddess. I think we can all agree on that. And I think that the nods to Carl and the beautiful way that Versace made it their own, yet it looked so Chanel in tweed, like, it's very hard to comprehend. Wearing, of course, Bulgari jewels. It was just a gorgeous, gorgeous look. The person who wins best for sculptural dresses, 
the gorgeous model Anok Yai. Oh my god, you guys. The, uh, speechless. The sculptural elements of this dress, I am a sucker for that being put into a wearable form. Amazing. And for Bodie, Emily herself was wearing such beautiful, beautiful pieces. She had a vintage little Chanel clutch and vintage jewels. I thought this look was so gorgeous. The bow on the back of her hair just was such a beautiful touch. She also dressed Tyler Mitchell, who looked incredible. Russell Westbrook, who I thought looked very, very handsome, especially can we have a hashtag men in pearls? That probably exists already. That pearl, almost bolo tie, vintage necklace on him, gorgeous. Juana Chasing Horse, one of my favorite models. It's obviously just so gorgeous and she featured an indigenous jeweler who literally hand beaded, handmade all of the beaded jewelry looks on her outfit. Beautiful handmade jewels at its finest. Honestly, this might be like, honestly, my top three favorite looks of the night. Gabriella Karifa Johnson, the queen, Miss Vogue herself, I, I, it, an icon. Her dress, her smile, she was beaming. As soon as I saw this, I was like, you better go off, okay? From head to toe. I am a huge fan of her, and I think she just beamed. Miami, okay? In this corset with the sheer elements and the pearls draping that waist, young Miami looked absolutely stunning. Whitney Peak. Stunned. The simple, beautiful, iconic Chanel reference. Those beautiful pearl drip down earrings with the hair. I just thought it was a moment. On to Miss Nails of the Night. I have no idea how she got through the rest of the night with this. Rita Ora. I, Rita Ora is always going to look amazing, in my opinion. I thought it was really cool, really fresh, but I had to mention these insane <laughs> drip down nails. Jewelry for your nails, okay? New category. And let's say that I just saved the best for last because if you guys know me personally, all right, you know, and you've already known from how I speak about this couple, okay? ASAP Rocky and Rihanna are are just, it's, it's a dream come true. The two of them together, I think, are pretty much goals in every single way. Rihanna walked out of her hotel in a gorgeous fur, and I was like, okay, something's coming. Something is coming. The way that she turned up in this camellia hooded moment, and the reveal to this just beautifully, almost simplistic in a way, and yet sculptural and over the top white gown. Rihanna is the Met Ball. Can we just, can we, can we just agree? Rihanna is the Met. She is the icon who has just turned every single carpet into her own. It, just no words. Makeup was very vintage, referential. The hair, I thought she just was glowing. And ASAP himself was in a Carl Lagerfeld reference that kilt. The two of them, you know, Rocky also, as one of the best, if not the best dressed men, in like a long time, possibly forever, in my humble opinion, he knows when he's like, my girl is Rihanna. Enough said, I'm just gonna stand here and look handsome and let her do her thing. And he does that so well without trying to outdo her and in such kind of a romantic, beautiful way and yet showing up and showing out himself. That has been my little take on the Met Gala 2023. I am so excited as always to hear all of your thoughts. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Layla Sophia Jewelry. I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.